morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Miss Hennigan here again with Mrs. Sanborn. Got your name right this time. Uh, and we're going to do a little model building today, and the lab is called Building a Glucose Molecule. Now, you'll remember from your lectures and from the slides that you should have seen before this that um, glucose is a sugar molecule. We know that it's a sugar because it ends in O-S-E and uh, it belongs to the family carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. That's why we get the name carbo for carbon and hydrate for water. So the formula for all carbohydrates is CH2O. So for every one carbon, there's two hydrogens and one oxygen. Um, today we're going to build a monosaccharide, meaning one sugar. Mrs. Sanborn's going to make one and I'm going to make one. We're both going to make glucose and we're, the, the instructions should be posted on the website and uh, it's pretty simple, but you've got to follow the directions. Um, so when we finish, Ms. we're going to put the two monosaccharides together, make a disaccharide, and that is going to be called maltose. So anyways, we're gonna begin by sorting. We have these little kits, and they're made up of little uh, molecules, tinker toys that we can build our models with. Notice that Mrs. Sanborn and I are both working on a, a blue tray. It might seem crazy to you people that uh, we go, uh, we, we're very adamant about keeping the molecules on the tray. Why? Because believe it or not, these kits are very expensive and we don't wanna lose any parts. So what we have here, if we've sorted things out, we have six carbon molecules. The carbon molecules are black. And if you look at them, you'll see that they have four bonds on them, okay? That's carbon. The oxygen molecules are red. They have two bonds on them. And we ha also have six of those. And we have 12 hydrogen molecules. They only have the one bond. So remember, it's C6, H12O6. Now the other pieces that we have on the tray are what we call single bonds. Right here, these little green things, they look like little macaronis. And then we also have some bendable ones. These are what we're gonna use to make a double bond so that our, our molecule, num uh, sorry, our atom numbers add up correctly. So let us begin. The first thing we're gonna do is take and put six carbon atoms together using the bonds. These are basically high energy bonds because that's where the energy is stored in the uh, glucose molecule. Because remember, carbohydrates are used for energy, so they have lots of energy stored in the, in the uh, chemical bonds. Are you doing a strand or a ring? Uh, just a strand. It would be way more fun if you guys were all here with us doing this in class, but alas, remote learning makes us do it this way. So we now have six carbons joined together with a single bond. Now on each one of these carbons, we're going to add an oxygen because we have six of them. So on this uh, carbon atom, we put one oxygen. And on this carbon atom, we put an oxygen. And just do that all the way down. Remember, you don't put two oxygens on one carbon. It has to be uh, one oxygen atom for each carbon. Does there always have to be a bond, Miss Hennigan? Uh, yes. Some students think that you, there's a little hole in this that they go like sure. this. No. And that's a good question, Mrs. Shaw. Um, because no, they can, don't go like that. They have to have a bond have in between bond. them. Okay. And the other thing is, and you'll see this before we finish, is you cannot have empty slots here. It has to, all of the bonds have to be occupied, okay. if you will. So if a carbon can bond four times, it has to bond four times. If right. an oxygen can bond two times, it has to bond two times. So no matter how many holes, we have to fill them. Right. So now we have C6O6. Now we just have to add our hydrogens. So again, we're gonna to go to every empty bond and put a hydrogen there. 
It's a little tedious, but like I say, fun when you're in class. So every single available one, I'm gonna start at one end and go down the other. So like hydrogens act as end caps because they can only bond one time. With oxygens, oxygens bond twice. So really all you can make with an oxygen is like a strand. It only, it's like the, you can make like a line. That's pretty much it. But because carbons can bond four times, you can build in four different directions. So it's kind of, that's why there's, all life is based on carbon atoms because you can build and all make real complicated molecules. The other part with the Tinker Toys, that's the one you always want because you can do anything with it. And they make very strong bonds too yes, with themselves. Yes, they're very small so they can bond tightly together. You may have heard of nanotubes. Those are pure carbon in a structure that allows them to be extremely strong. Now we're gonna have a problem when we get to the end and this is where we want to talk specifically to you about this. Okay, so we've built this glucose molecule but now when we get down to the end we see that there's a problem. We have no atom on this bond and we have no atom on this bond. But let's count what we have so far. We have six carbons, carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. We have six oxygens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's our six uh, oxygens. But now for, for hydrogens, we're short. Well, no, we're short of bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's perfect as far as our atoms go. However, you notice we still have this problem here. So that's where our double bonds come in, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bond off, we're gonna have our oxygen attached to two double bonds, and then we're gonna put that on here. That's why they're bendable, these white ones. So that is a perfectly built glucose molecule. All the numbers add up correctly and, uh, and we don't have any spare bonds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a hydration reaction. We're gonna take the oxygen and the hydrogen off of one and we're gonna take the hydrogen off of this guy and we're gonna join it together here. So now, we have now, instead of having two monosaccharides, we now have a disaccharide. And what did you lose? And that's the thing, <laughs> I want you to think about this. Good question, Mrs. Shaw. Because what we're left with is one oxygen and two hydrogens. And we call it a hydration, right. dehydration reaction because we're losing a what? Water. A water molecule, right. So we've now taken two glucose mm -hmm. molecules, two monosaccharides, built a disaccharide, maltose, also a sugar, because remember, the carbon and hydrogen and oxygen number is still one to two to one, and we've created a water molecule in the reaction. So you ought to be able to answer your questions today. Oh, one more thing we wanted to say. Um, Mrs. Sanborn and I are not wearing our masks because we have our air sanitizer going on. So we just wanted you to know that Mrs. Shaw is wearing her mask, but mm -hmm. when we leave here and we go away from the air sanitizer, then we put our masks back on. Yes, we've been using this anytime we make videos. Right, so when we make our videos, because we filmed the pH lab, and we I don't think we mentioned it, but Mr. Gaspari was gonna put a note on there. So anyways, we are using our PPE and staying safe here at school too, all right? Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.